Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about a problem that can occur on Apple MacBook laptops called the widescreen of death, or a WSOD. If you're experiencing this issue, don't worry, we're here to help. The WSOD is a problem where your MacBook becomes unresponsive and displays a widescreen. There are several reasons why this could happen, including hardware problems, software conflicts, system level errors, power issues, malware or viruses, and physical damage. If you're not sure what's causing your WSOD, there are some steps you can take to diagnose the issue. First, try restarting your computer to see if the problem is resolved. If the WSOD persists, it could be caused by a hardware problem. Try removing all peripherals and using Apple's hardware test utility to check any errors. If the WSOD appears randomly while you're using your MacBook, it could be caused by a conflict between different apps or between macOS and apps. Try closing all open programs and restarting your Mac. If the WSOD still persists, it could be caused by system level problems. You can try a safe boot by booting the MacBook into safe mode to see if the problem is resolved. If the WSOD does not appear in safe mode, it could be a problem with an installed app. If the WSOD appears when your MacBook runs on battery power only, it could be a problem with a battery or charging port. Try plugging your MacBook in to see if the issue goes away. To prevent the WSOD from happening, make sure to keep your MacBook software up to date. Use an antivirus program to protect against malware and viruses. Try to avoid overheating and avoiding physical damage to your laptop. Shut down your MacBook properly, use a power adapter whenever possible, and make backups. Enter recovery mode by performing a special startup action before you get to the login screen. Then select one of the three relevant options, restore from Time Machine, reinstall macOS, or use Disk Utility. I hope this video was helpful in diagnosing and maybe even fixing the MacBook widescreen of death for you. Let us know in the comments if you've experienced this issue and what worked for you. For more detailed instructions on how to perform these fixes I've mentioned, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.